welcome to our preview show. Thank you. Uh, number one. Um, Eugene, you had a good run last year with uh, Kina. Uh, you're no doubt, I'm sure, uh, have mixed emotions as regards this season. Yeah, well, it was a, it was a difficult decision to leave Kina. And um, I suppose the only reason probably was it was my own club that was, that was calling at the time. And um, I kind of all my intentions of going back to, to train Keener the second time. And uh, in between that, you know, the downtime of the year, um, Kerry Kebman came and asked me, and I hadn't trained uh, my own son ever. And he told me that, so uh, it probably was pulling up my heartstrings a little bit. So uh, I ended up making the decision to go to Kerry Kebman, and you know, I know. Uh, it was a big decision. So look, at it happened and so far so good. Very good. Eugene, how has uh, the, the league worked out for you at Carry Edmund? How has the team been for you over the, the league season? Uh, it has been reasonably good, Mick. Reasonably good. Um, I suppose uh, starting off, we would have been looking at, you know, making sure to avoid relegation and, uh, and staying out of the bottom four. And the way the league panned out then, um, down to the set two last uh, ga games, we had an opportunity actually to qualify for the Leader Cup semi-final. And, uh, um, and when you say how did it turn out, it turned out great in one way, but it was a, a tad of disappointment in the end that we didn't actually qualify for the Leader Cup semi-final. And, uh, but look, that's football. That's yeah. football. So, in the bigger scheme of things, you know, we're probably happy enough with where we finish. But just knowing my own head, I'd love to have maybe gone another step, if not two. So, to, to put it in a nutshell, had you known you'd be here, you know, three, four, five months ago, you'd have been very happy. But as the way things panned out, you realise you could have gone that little bit further. Absolutely. That, that that's exactly that's exactly the scenario that, that panned out. And uh, and look, the the lads have put in a great shift, you know, in, in the club and that. And and uh, great credit to them. So, but look, at I would have loved to have. We haven't we haven't competed in a leader cup semi final. I think it was in the sixties. Mm. So uh, that would have been, you know, a little bit of disappointment. There was an opportunity there for us to take it, and we didn't take it. But look, at that's the learning curve that these lads are on. Very good. Uh, Eugene, it's a, this is a long one now, but if, if apart from Carrie Gedmond um, picking up at the championship, who do you think at the moment, who do you think is the, 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 the team that are likely to win it? Well, um, after playing all the clubs, you know, uh, in the senior championship, apart from Keena, who are in Division 2 and Cullum Kill, and... Uh, um, We've played most of the other clubs uh, in the league and uh, it is still very difficult to look beyond Kilo, who are the county champions at the moment. And uh, they have quality all over the, the field. That's probably what you're looking at. Now, the Clungish uh, are going to have a huge say, I believe, in it. You know, Abilara have gone very, very well in the league and Granard have won the league. So, it's... For Bribby, once, you know, in, in Longford, you know, there's, there's five or six clubs that have thrown themselves in the ring for, for maybe upsets. I'm not saying for winning the championship. If you're asking me who's going to win the championship, I think it's going to fall between possibly three clubs, and I, I would say Kilo, Clungish, and, and possibly Mullingyakta. And then the is there upsets ah, in there? The you know, well, there, as my own club, we hope there is. Roger massive the upsets. And, uh, but uh, there's, there's, uh, there's three to four clubs there. Dramard, Dramard are very, very strong as well. And Dramard were very disappointed the way they would have probably, you know, lost out in the championship like semi-final last year. So they're going to have a big, big say in it as well. So look at the, you know, there's going to be, it's going to be very interesting. I'd have to say this is one year that it looks very, very interesting. Very good. Eugene, um, so getting around to the, um, the actual, uh, the group uh, that you're in, did I hear somebody saying the group of death or the most difficult group? Is that how you would, did, would it describe it? Well, you can describe it any way you want. To. It's uh, it is a very very difficult group. Each each game is you're playing you know all the top clubs in it. 
Do you know what I mean? So uh, it's every game is going to be a really, uh, we'll say, uh, arm struggle. Do you know what I mean? To to get over the line. So and especially for Carry Kebman, you know, everyone will see themselves as Carry Kebman will be the team that they have to beat. And you know, it's up to us as a club, you know, to to make sure that we're resilient group out there and and making sure that uh, we make it very difficult for any team that ever plays us. So that's that's where I'd be looking at, but it is a really, really difficult group to come out.